The Raspberry Pi platform is awesome. I just love it. And another thing that I love is the fact that Raspberry Pi is becoming more and more popular in home lab and server related projects, which is awesome. A lot of people out there, they just don't think that Raspberry Pis are meant for that kind of thing, but I argue that they're low power, they're very powerful for the price, and a good fit for quite a few server related projects. Now right here, I have something really awesome. I have this server rack or this server rack mount for Raspberry Pis by 52Pi, and I'm going to be reviewing this in this video. And I'm really happy that products like this exist nowadays because it looks like the market is realizing that Raspberry Pis are awesome for server related projects, and I'm very happy to see that. And this isn't the first time that a rack mount for Raspberry Pis was featured on this channel. Recently, my friend Tom Lawrence dropped by the studio and provided me with a custom 3D printed Raspberry Pi server rack that he and his team built for me, which was awesome. And it's since become a permanent part of my home lab. And today we're going to be looking at this product from 52Pi, which is a 19 inch rack mount that allows you to mount four Raspberry Pis in your server rack. So what I'm going to do is give you guys an unboxing, I'll do an assembly section, and then I'll give you guys my thoughts. Just like always, I retain full creative control over all of the content on my channel, and this video is no exception. So even though 52Pi provided me with this product for free for this review, I'm going to give you my honest thoughts and feedback about this product. I don't allow any vendors to see or approve content before you guys get a chance to see it, so you'll definitely get an unbiased opinion as we check this out. So let's go ahead and get into it. I always enjoy server related projects the most, so I was very excited to check out the Raspberry Pi rack mount from 52Pi. And this particular product allows you to rack four Raspberry Pis in one U of space. But even if you don't have four Raspberry Pis, if you do plan on adding more later, it might make sense to consider a rack mount like this one, because as your home lab grows, you can always add additional Pis. The kit comes with a fan for each Pi to help keep them cool. And that's a good thing because I find that having fans installed on your Pies when you use them in a server rack is a really good idea, especially because they can get fairly hot without some sort of cooling and start to throttle. And this kit also comes with various other parts as well, which we're going to see, well, right now, because I'm going to show you an unboxing of this kit, and then after that, I'll talk about the assembly process. All right, so here's the box. And let's go ahead and check it out. And then right here we have the actual rack mount for the Raspberry Pis, which is really cool. And this is metal. This actually feels really solid. I don't know why I was thinking this might be plastic from the pictures and such, but this is definitely not plastic. It's very strong. So I'm gonna, you know, try to bend it and I'm not gonna try too hard, but um, I would have to put some serious muscle into this if I wanted to bend it, which is really nice because, you know, when you put something like this in your server rack, you definitely want it to be secure and stable. And this definitely is both of those things so far. And in the white boxes, we have what looks like a daughter board. So I'll get to this in the review here shortly. And we have a fan. We definitely want a fan if we're going to be using this in a rack. We also have some heat sinks as well. And I'm guessing that each of these boxes also have the same thing inside. And yeah, actually I was right. So. Just open up this little baggie here. I'll show you what's inside. So we have this board here. Looks like it's an SD card extender and also an HDMI extender as well. Pretty neat. We also have this as well right here. 
So I'm really interested to get this racked and check it out. Let's do it. All right, so right here I have all of the components of the case. Now, of course, we have four times these things right here because there's one set for each Raspberry Pi. But here I have the fan module, a uh, ribbon cable right here, an extender board, and that's for HDMI. Of course, I have the Raspberry Pi right here. an SD card extender, then of course a bunch of screws and some heat sinks as well. So what we're going to do is grab the Raspberry Pi and the extender board, we're simply going to plug it in right about here. And I think that's fairly self-explanatory right there. That extender board is extending the micro HDMI right here to the edge of the Pi itself giving us a full-sized HDMI port. Pretty cool. And for this SD card extender, it's pretty easy. What we're going to do is just plug that right in there. Make sure that the holes are lined up, everything is plugged in nice and snug all the way around. And then we have right here, the ribbon cable. So what we're going to do is blue side up, just move this flap right here, and we're going to just gently push this inside. There we go. Clamp that down. Going to lift this here, and we're going to slide that right in there. Make sure this is nice and snug because this is essentially the operating system disk. The SD card is very important. So now we have most of the parts on the board. Of course, we need this fan right here. And it has a barrel connector right here. And inside the box, there is no power cord for this at all. So that's interesting. Anyway, let's go ahead and attach this. And here we have the assembled Raspberry Pi with everything on there. But you know what? I forgot to attach the heat sinks. So let's go ahead and take care of that right now. So let's go ahead and put this back on the board. And actually, I do believe we need this. That should allow us to screw this right on, make it nice and secure. We'll do the same thing here on the bottom. And there we go. So next, what we're going to do, just line this up right here. Want it to be lined up as perfectly as we can get it, so it'll look something like this. So what I'll do is just screw this down. All right, so now what I'm going to do is prepare the other Raspberry Pis, and then we can see what this thing looks like when it's fully populated. And here we have the finished product with four Raspberry Pis mounted, as you can see right here. So now that we have everything assembled and ready to go, let's proceed with the rest of the review. At this point, I showed you guys the unboxing of this kit, and then I showed you the assembly process as well. Now it's time for me to give you my overall thoughts regarding the 52 Pi 19 inch rack mount for Raspberry Pis. And so far, um, my first impression is that it's very, very sturdy. I'm not able to really bend it at all. I, I of course, don't want to try too hard, but it's very sturdy. And you would expect that when it comes to something that's intended to be installed in a server rack, it definitely has to be solid. When I first saw some pictures of this product on Amazon, 
The pictures made it out to be like it's a plastic kit and it looked kind of cheap in the photos. So I was very pleasantly surprised to see that this is actually made of metal. And I think that's great. Like I mentioned, that's definitely something that you want. And overall, I mean, there's not a whole lot to review. I'll get into the pros and cons in a moment. But it gets the job done, right? Because the whole point is to mount your Raspberry Pis in a rack. And this absolutely allows you to do that. Now, as good as this kit is, there are a few downsides that I want to mention to make sure that you guys have all of the information that you need to decide if this is right for you. First of all, with this kit, you'll need two power cables per every one Raspberry Pi. In addition to the power cable that each Raspberry Pi needs in order to power themselves, the fans that come with this particular mount also need a power cable as well. So you have one for power and then one for the fan for each of the Pi's, totaling eight cables. Now, if you have decent cable management skills, having eight total cables isn't necessarily a downside, but it's a bit worse when you find out that the required power cables for the fans aren't even included in this package at all and are sold separately. So although this kit is fairly affordable at around 50 US dollars, you'll increase the cost when you start to add additional power cables for the fans. You can get around this by buying a third party fan that doesn't require its own power adapter, but either way, you'd still be adding additional overall cost. If you do decide to use the fans that came with the kit, they make it a bit difficult, possibly even impossible, to install a power over ethernet hat, which is something I really love using when it comes to Raspberry Pi servers. With a PoE hat, you can plug in just one cable and you're done. So you could just ignore the fans that came with this kit and then use your own, and then you'd be able to use a power over ethernet hat as well. But again, you'd be adding additional cost. That said, even though you have to buy additional power cables, this kit might be very useful depending on what you're looking for. And if you have a handful of Raspberry Pis lying around and you want to turn them into servers, then this will definitely fit that use case. Just keep in mind, the total cost for this solution isn't just the retail price of the kit itself. You have to buy additional power cables or additional fans as well. And with all of that combined, the overall cost for this solution could creep closer to 100 US dollars. Now earlier I mentioned that my friend Tom Lawrence came over to the studio and gifted me with a 3D printed rack that was so cool. And I think in my case, it's still the way to go. I think I like that a lot better. And one of the reasons why is because it's just so cool the way it's set up. You have trays for each of the Raspberry Pis and they simply slide into place. That's really cool. But I do understand that not everyone has access to a 3D printer. And if you don't, then, well, this fits the bill. It gets the job done. So if a 3D printer is not something you have access to, then I do feel that this solution is definitely worth a consideration. Regardless of my own use case, the fact that fans of HomeLab and self-hosting have things like this available now is awesome. However you envision your home server rack, the sky's the limit. There is definitely a void in the market for something like this, and 52Pi has helped fill that void, which is great. So overall, I do recommend this particular rack mount if you do have a use case for racking Raspberry Pis, but with a little asterisk though. You have to be okay with buying additional things because the cost of this particular kit is not your overall cost. As I mentioned earlier, you have to buy either additional power cables, different fans, so the price is going to go up, and I think that'll determine whether or not this particular solution fits your budget. But if it does, and you don't mind the extra purchases, I think it's going to be a great fit. And if you do use this in your rack, definitely tell me what you think about it, or just give me your opinions in general in the comments down below, and I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. And thank you so much for watching.